Welcome guys to a new series. This is Hollow Knight. I've played through this game once on my own and uh, you know I enjoyed it. Uh, it's uh, basically a 2D Dark Souls. Uh, we've done a handful of From Software games by this point uh, so this is similar enough that you know it goes with the flow of what we've been doing so far. So yeah I hope you enjoy it. We're just going to start ourselves a new game. So let's just do a new game. And ooh, it's been a while since I played, so I don't know if I want to do Still Soul, especially for a playthrough. We're just do, let's just do Classic. Maybe come back and do a Still Soul playthrough or something if we get confident. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught we change base instincts were redeemed a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed so there's a lot of dialogue in this game but it's a lot of reading of the dialogue um, not not a whole lot of voice acting going on here other than some mumbles and grumbles Uh oh. Alrighty then. So this is our character for those who have not played the game. Oh, it's been a while since I played this, so I'm going to be super rusty. Alright, so that's jump. Let's attack. Nothing else does anything at the moment. Okay. So right now all we have is jump and attack. Got that guy. What's down in this hole? Can we even go down this hole? No, it's just a, okay. It's not a hole. Yo, give me them souls. Ooh, coins. We use these little uh, coins, or I can't remember what they're called right now, but we use those to purchase items and upgrades and things of the sort. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. So it's just a yoink like that, even though we didn't need to use it. So every time you uh, strike an enemy or kill an enemy, uh, let's go in here. You uh, gain some soul. Ooh, almost missed them. And we're not getting those coins. Alright, there's some coins. Oh, mother effer. Gotta watch out for those uh, falling stalactites. So now we'll focus our soul. Get back up to full health. Woohoohoo! That spike killed that uh, little bug for us. Alright, let's get up there. These things right here give you like little bonus uh, lives. You see, we got one there, and we're about to get a second one. So now we got two additional hits, hit points. Whoop, he was way too close to the ledge for us to jump right there. Oh shit! Uh, how 
aren't we supposed to get up there? I'll have to come back and get it, I guess. Oh, keep moving. Keep moving. Look out. Ah, here we go. So I bet we can jump across, maybe? Nope. I hit the ceiling when I tried to jump across. It's no big deal. We can, uh... Can we break this? No. We'll, we'll come back when uh, we're able to have... There's a couple other abilities we'll pick up along the way, like double jump and wall, wall climb and that kind of stuff. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hollow Nest. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to Hollow Nest. I think we just dropped. Yeah. And here we are in Hollow Nest. Or at least the outskirts. Dirt Mouth. The Fading Town. Eh? So we'll give this guy a good talking to. Alright, so I'm not going to read all the dialogue. I'll just kind of slowly scroll through it. And if you guys want to read it, y'all can. Uh, gives you a lot of lore. Um... And some hints on where things are and what to do. So benches. This right here, benches are the equivalent of uh, bonfires or idols. Uh, if, depending if you're playing uh, Sekiro or Dark Souls. Here the, there's a cartographer. We'll run into him shortly. But we'll jump across that real quick and head this way. Uh, there's some graves, a little graveyard. And then at the end of it, there's this little uh, thing here. We can't get into it yet. It's a stone door with a simple lock. We will be unlocking that at some point. Now we're just going to jump on down into this well. And... Forgotten Crossroads. Kill that guy. At, at, at the start of the game, the enemies aren't too bad. They're not hard to kill, especially if you played the game before. If they touch you, you take a damage. You know, you lose a hit point. Um, if you lose all hit points, you die. Oh shit! God damn it! I forget. I told you I was gonna be rusty. All right, there. got him. Ah, I can go up and get him. Boom, got it. Let's get this guy up top real quick. Okay, good. Woo! We gotta go get our coins, man. I'm trying to see if we've killed all of them. Got it. Oh, didn't think we had the ups to get him. We can get this guy for sure. So, like in Dark Souls, if you like reset the area, the enemies will respawn. Oh. Right now, I'm just you know killing everything that's here just to clear the level. You know, it's more of a yeah, yeah, I did it kind of thing, and not really necessary. Uh, and it's also trying to get reacquainted with the play of the game. All right, we accidentally hit that guy. I'll go ahead and heal back up. I always try to keep myself at full health, and then uh, let the attacking of enemies recharge my soul level, so that I can heal if I need to. Uh, if I get hit again. Basically maximizing our return on striking enemies. I missed one somehow. No matter, we're, we're going to move on. Um, I'm getting a feel for the game again. We can 
go up this way and go to this door. I don't remember where anything is, to be honest with you. I don't remember the exact uh, progression we got to go through. Okay, so in here, we're going to find grubs that are basically trapped. Uh, as you free them, they show up in these little pods, and you'll get rewarded by that guy, the daddy, I guess. Uh, the more you unlock, the more you get, and eventually you'll uh, get some really good items. So as you can see, uh, we've uh, reset the world state here. Whoops. Well, didn't mean to drop to there, but we needed to anyway, because right here is the cartographer. Yeah, yeah. And he's telling us about his map. Uh, yes, we want to purchase the map. And it'll uh, reveal itself uh, as we unlock areas. Uh, we'll be able to purchase area maps from him. And we can go up to his store uh, up in uh, Dirtmouth and purchase upgrade items and stuff for the map. <laughs> so if we look here, this is the first little area we've made it to. Um, not much to go on right here just yet, uh, but we will get there. Don't think we want to go down just yet, or maybe we do. We can try. I think it's locked. No, it's not locked. Woo! Let's see, it's just this way. I'm just kind of roaming around just because I can't remember exactly where we need to go at the at this time. Oh, did not want to do that. That is for sure. All right, let's uh. Go back this way. Let's see. Do we want to go right? Uh, let's go left real quick. Let's go back up and then to the left. Which would require us to go a little bit further up. Yeah, there we go. Really need God dang it. <laughs> One, I'm trying to get coins back, and I'm also uh, was trying to refill my soul level. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh my god. Okay. Mother fuckers. My platforming skills are rustier than my fighting skills, apparently. Got it. That's just, this is where I was trying to go, right here. What does this say? The Pilgrim's Way, Traveler's Hall Nest, Descend Through, blah blah blah. Y'all can read that. On your own. Just pause this video. What the? What? All right, he's gonna shoot short, shoot long. All right, we can't actually attack him yet, not effectively. We don't have a given skill to get through there. But what we can do, let's see. There's this area here we can go in. Let's see what's on the other side of this. So most of this game is understanding enemy patterns, uh, especially for the Tougher enemies, the bigger ones, the mini boss stuff as well. Die, big bitch. So there is a grub right there. We can't get to him just yet, but that's the type of grub that I mentioned uh, we'll be unlocking. And uh, we'll get rewards for uh, unlocking a certain amount. So, like after 10, you get something, after 15, you get something, and blah, 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 so on and so forth. I can't remember exactly how many grubs there are. It's, there's quite a few. Boy. Alright, that guy hops as you can see. This guy charges with his little rhino horn. I usually I like to hit and back up, hit and back up, and just kinda play it safe that way. Got him! We're getting some pretty good coinage out of these guys. For early game, at least. All 
All right. Well, we can at least get that one. We can't get up there. Yeah, not that way. We can go this way to get up there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, didn't see the second one. Give me them coins, baby. I honestly don't remember what they're called. All right, there we go. All right, so which way do we want to go? If we go... Do we want to go down or over? I don't know. Let's just go this way. We'll figure it out. Okay. I think I know where we're at. We may have to come back out. Yeah, so this is a new area, but... You can talk to this guy if you want. He's just singing and mining. And then you can go up this way, but it's basically blocked off to us right now. Uh, you can jump in here. These things, uh, they give you soul level back. Um, it's like a mid, mid level recharge if you're running low. And I think we can't go much further after this yet, yeah, because this right here, we can't break this yet, but we will uh, eventually break it. Um, but as of right now, this is a dead end for us. And so we're just going to go back out and go up. Here we go. So here, I think this goes back to, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, big dude. Whoop. And just dive in. Go in and out. Jump over this. And he's dead. Now, you can cheese this guy. Um, let's go ahead and break this. And so he's going to go peace off where his dad is back home. Uh, you can cheese this guy if you just aggro him. Wait, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's a different guy. There's another enemy just like that that you can cheese by getting in a little spot like that where he can't hit you with his club. All you got to do is watch out for that uh, shockwave. Alright, so let's get this guy. Oh my god, are you serious? The damn falling stalactite freaked me out. Got him. I don't think there's anything up here other than falling stalactites. Oh, and there is, I don't remember there being a sprint, but there's a dash that we'll pick up at some point. And the dash will be effectively our sprint. And here's our temple. Temple of the Black Egg. This guy here, one of my favorite, if not favorite, uh, character NPC in the game. This guy is basically, in my opinion, uh, Sunbro from Dark Souls. Uh, what's his name? Uh, ah, crap. I'm losing his name right now. But yeah, the guy who's of the Sun Covenant, praise the sun, that guy. Um... This is his counterpart, I would say, in Hollow Knight. And we'll run into him and advance his quest line throughout the gameplay. What is his name? I keep wanting to say Sieg Siegfried, but that's Onion Knight. What is his name? I can't. It's been so long since I've played. Dark Souls, I can't remember his name. Alright, so we'll ascend and go to the cartographer's store. See what we can get from... I would say him, but it's actually his wife that mans the store. 
<sighs> Papanada. Papanada. So, uh, what you can see here is Wayward Compass. Uh, pinpoint your location on the map. Highly recommended. Uh, the next thing, um, Quill. Uh, it, if you want to, okay, if we update the maps ourselves um, for a given area. Bench pen shows where benches are on the map. Uh, highly recommended as well. So the first three you're going to definitely want. Um, and then uh, Cocoon, you can do that if you want. Uh, vendors are useful, um, but early game not necessary. Hot Springs, it's okay. And then sc Scare Marker and Shell Marker, they're not necessary, but like if there's like a certain area that you've discovered but you don't remember exact, or you're afraid you'll forget where it's at, you can place these things down, you can color code your own technique and because there's a handful of these that uh, will unlock um, and why in the world am I getting this notification on the bottom of the screen hopefully you guys can't see it but maybe you can so anyway I'm going to actually grind off camera to be able to purchase the first three or at least the first one well actually the first one and then uh, that way we can see ourselves on the map and then from there we'll go with episode two and progress forward so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode this is hollow knight and i hope you enjoy the series so thank you guys for watching and uh, if you did enjoy it like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one later guys